We don't have a deficiency in the genes in our crops. We have a nutritional problem. We don't have weeds because we can't kill it enough with Roundup or Basta or Atrazine or Simazine or any other herbicide. We don't have a deficiency of BT toxin or any other poison in the plant system. We have a nutritional problem. That's why you have insects. That's why you have fungal problems. So even the Codex thing, and I certainly don't agree with the, the Codex Alimentarius uh, approach, but nonetheless, even the Codex Alimentarius says that many but not all genes and traits used in agriculture GMOs are novel and have no history of safe foods use. And you hear this garbage all the time about, oh, how safe genetic engineering of crops are. Yet every human study and animal study that's been done shows absolutely the contrary to that. Significant immunological and inflammatory response. And all you have to do is understand immunology to understand why that is going to happen and will happen 100% of the time. If you have identical twins and one of those twins needs a kidney transplant, you take that kidney from one twin, identical twin, and you put it into the other twin. So we're not talking about mixing families. We're not talking about non-relatives. We're talking about identical twins. You still have to give that twin anti-rejection drug for the rest of their life or they will reject that kidney. Now you want to talk about having close genetic compatibility you're not going to get any closer than having your own body part. And yet, our immune system is so sensitive it still rejects it. It's exactly what happens with genetically engineered, engineered, genetically manipulated crops. Our immune system places so much importance on protection of us through the digestive system that 70% of the immune system resides in our digestive system. 70% of the immune system. That's how important protecting us from what we eat nature places on our digestive system. We have evolved over time to recognize certain things as food, friend, or foe. And we reject those things that are not food. When you take and breed a plant, there is normal compatibility between male and female of that species, whether it's pollen and egg or whatever it might be. And in genetics, you have a gene, and every gene in a sequence has a codon that turns that gene on so that gene expresses or a codon that turns that gene off. And that is part of the whole picture. That is part of the entire language system of that genetics. But you see, in genetic engineering, that has been ripped out of that system. There is no natural on switch or off switch in the system. So what they have to do is they put a foreign virus attached to that gene that turns that gene on 100% of the time. There is no off button. There is nothing in our body that doesn't have an on button and an off button relative to the genetic expression. Otherwise, we would have all kinds of organs growing all over our body. So how does our body know that liver cells are supposed to be right here at the liver, lung cells are supposed to be here at the lungs, the heart cells are supposed to be there, brain cells are supposed to be up there, instead of mixing them all up? Well, if you understand cancer, cancer is that when those things kind of get screwed up and foreign things start growing in areas they're supposed to be growing in. So the cells lose what is called contact inhibition. So when you genetically engineer a crop, what happens is, is now you have a foreign gene sequence in there, never seen before by our immune system. It has a foreign signature. It's like taking computer software code. Somebody has to write that code for that computer software to work. Now, most of you either have Macintosh computers 
uh, operating systems or you have Windows operating systems, right? One or the other on your computers. You don't know what a computer is. You don't have computers? <laughs> yes, you all do. So you either have a Windows operating system or you have a Macintosh, an Apple operating system. You can take code, one bit of code from Windows, and you place that into the Macintosh or the Apple operating system and the whole thing now is corrupt. Even though you may take the same message, turn on something. But because it is foreign code, not a part of the Apple operating system, the entire code now is corrupt. The computer crashes, doesn't work. It's exactly what happens with genetically engineered crops. That's why every study has shown significant immune activation and inflammation in all genetically engineered stuff.